Yeah, you, uh, you start off. Yeah. What you want to do. Um, on the first side. And then we're going to inhale, bring our arms out to the side. So for four. One, two, three, four. And in. Four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four. Four, three, two, one. Last one. One, two, three, four. Four, three, two, one. Inhale, draw the arms all the way up over the head. Four, three, two, one. Interlink the fingers at the top, reach them out of the body. Up. Squeeze your bum cheeks up. <laughs> <laughs> Exhale, down. Three, two, one. Inhale, all the way up for five, four, Three, <laughs> two, one. Interlink the fingers at the top. Squeeze that Kali Mudra index finger point. Squeeze the bum cheeks on. Lift the arms up. Feel the belly lengthen. Exhale down for five, four, three, two, one. Final time. Inhaling up. Five, four, three, two, one. Interlink the fingers. Squeeze bum cheeks. Push those hips. Up, forward, exhale, down, five, four, three, two, one, and you. Inhale, sweep arms all the way up overhead. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, down your flat back. Exhale, fold forward. Take that right foot back behind you, drop that right knee. Inhale, sweep both arms up. Exhale, sink those hips down. And then you're going to bring your hands to come into half split. So straighten that front leg. Two variations. You can either stay higher or come lower. See which works best for you. I'm going to bring that weight forward. And then you're going to bring right foot through to meet left foot. Inhale all the way up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, come to flat back. Exhale, fold forward. Left leg back behind you. Drop that left knee. Inhale, sweep both arms up. And then sink those hips down. Exhale. And then come into your half splits. Straighten that front leg. And then bring that weight forward, left foot through to knee, right foot. Inhale, sweep all the way up, and then to you. Exhale, fold yourself all the way back down over the legs. Inhale, rise to flat back, heart open to nice. Exhale, hands to the floor, step that right foot back, drop the right knee down. Inhale, sweep those arms up, here comes next up. Mm. Exhale, pull the elbows down through cactus arms. As they draw down beside you. And the hands come all the way down to the floor. Straighten your front leg into half split. Steps come in. Steps. And then roll back forward into that low lunge. Lift the chest a little bit. Roll back to half splits again. Just three times. So one more time after this. Roll back forward. Half low lunge. Roll back half splits. Roll forward into that low lunge, tuck your back toes, lift the back knee. One time straighten the front leg, pyramid pose. And then try to bend your right knee, keep the left knee straight, step forward to the front of the mat, folding down a little bit. Ow! Inhale, roll yourself all the way up to stand. And up. Exhale, folding all the way back down towards the floor. Hands to shins look forward, our glutes and master. Exhale, left foot back, drop the left knee to the floor. Lift the arms all the way up over the head, rising into Anjaniyasana, our low lunge. 
Exhale, hands come down to the ground. Straighten your right leg. Bend back in, low lunge. Draw that chest up. And then roll back another two times. Half no, split. And then up this. Roll up into your <coughs> low lunge. And then again, we're going to roll back into the half splits final time. Roll forward, low lunge. Tuck your back toes under, lift your back knee and straighten your front leg to the best of your ability here. You can keep a soft bend in the knee if you need. And then bend your left knee, the back knee bends. We step forward to the front of the mat, coming up to our flat back as we come. Fold down over your legs or over your dug. Inhale, roll yourself up towards standing. We'll go. Oh. Exhale. Bring those hands to the heart centre, taking that right foot back behind you, come to your warrior two, so you're bending that front leg, and your arms out by the side. Drop your shoulders away from your ears, take a nice inhale, imagine that breath is coming all the way from below your belly button, all the way up to your collarbones. And then as you exhale, bring that elbow down to your thigh, right arm up and over for a side stretch. Then you're going to reverse that warrior. Keep that front leg bent, lift that left arm up. No. Then this time, no. you're not going to lean that elbow onto the thigh, you're just going to hover it just for a little bit more of a challenge. And then bring that right arm up and then reverse. Oh. <laughs> and then coming back, either elbow on the knee or hovering it again. Coming back, that reverse. Bringing your arms up to the side, straightening that left leg, and then coming to a triangle. So bringing that left hand wherever it wants to be placed on that shin, and then you're stacking that right arm up. So wrist over shoulder. Try and rotate that heart round a little bit, and then bringing those arms up. And then you're going to bring right foot through to meet left foot. Inhale, sweep those arms up. Exhale, hands to heart centre. Taking that left foot back behind you to your warrior two position. Bend in that front leg. Arms up by your side. Again, checking in, drop your shoulders away from your ears. Imagine that breath coming all the way up from below your belly button, all the way up to your collarbones. And then you're going to bring that elbow into that thigh, left arm up and over. Nice and slow reverse, keeping that front knee bent. No, no, no. And then come back. So you can lift that elbow, we can hover it just to engage that core a little bit more. And then reverse. One more time. Option again, hover or rest. Reverse. And then bringing your arms out, back to that warrior two position, straightening that right leg, coming to your triangle. So resting that right hand somewhere along that shin towards that foot. And then you're stacking that left arm up, opening up that heart, so that wrist above that shoulder, so it's in one line. And then bringing yourself back up, left foot through to meet right foot, reset with your arms, so bring both arms up overhead, connect those palms, and then exhale down to heart centre. Inhale, draw the arms up over the head, pull your right knee up towards your chest, bend your left knee, straighten your right knee, sweep that dexter kick as a, so the right leg back, warrior three, your left knee is still bent at this point, Standing leg still bent. Now step the right foot to the back of the mat. Sweep the arms up over the head. Exhale, hands come down to the floor. Step back to your plank pose. Hold your chaturanga. We're gonna come down through that chaturanga dandasana, down to low plank, push back high. Drop to the knees, roll back to child pose. 
We're gonna roll through to knees, chest, and chin. Find our way, hovering, stopping there. Bum still in the sky like a little ski slope. We're gonna push backwards to ah! child's pose. <laughs> Find our way back into child pose. Lifting that right, uh, sorry, those hips up to the sky, downward facing dog. Right leg lifts towards the sky, open the hip. Just for that boy dog peeing on a fence. Look under your left arm, and we're gonna come into this wild thing, flip dog. So place your right foot down to the floor. Left leg stays straight, right knee is bent, lift the hips up. And then sit your bum down to your face, the back of the mat. Your left leg is still nice and straight. Wrap your left arm around your right thigh, right hand behind the back. You've got a little twist there. You're using that right arm to push yourself tall, feel your sit bones ground. And now exhale, release. Left hand back to the floor behind you, right hand up to the sky. Push down to your right toes. Trying to lift 75 kilos of dog potentially. Lift your hips up. We're going to stack right foot on the left for side plank pose. So if that's too much, don't stack it, put it beside it. And then once you're there, we're going to oh, pick man. that right foot up and step it to the front of the mat, hands into the floor. Walk your fingers forward, standing splits, lift the back leg. There's a lot of dog bums in my face. <laughs> and then we're going to somehow push that massive dog out of the way. Pull that left knee into the chest, bend your right knee so you're squatted on that one knee. And then stand yourself up, pulling that left knee up in towards your chest. Shush, <laughs> From here, we're now straight into the other side. Bend oh. your right knee, straighten your left leg. Sweep it back, warrior three. Good, Good step the left guys. foot back behind you. Sweep the arms up over your head. And then we're going to exhale, hands come down to the floor. Step back to plank pose. So again, we're going to do our Chaturanga Dandasana. So you can use your knees for your push up here if you need to. Only bend your arms as much as you feel comfortable. Push back towards the top. Trying to avoid Oi. the dogs. Trying to roll back towards child's pose at this point. Roll forward, knees, chest and chin. Stop there. Now push backwards to where you just were. That one's a challenge. Lift your hips up, downward facing dog. Once you've found your down dog, lift your left leg up to the sky. Open that hip and you find that boy dog peeing on a fence pose. Oh no, you're gonna have a full on shot of dog's ball. <laughs> And then that left foot steps behind you into your wild thing, flip dog, rock star, whatever you want to call it, come across now. From here, again, can you wrap that right shoulder down underneath you and then sit down towards your bum. So you'll be facing the back of the mat, left hand comes around behind you, right arm wraps around your left leg twisting through there. If you maybe have a nice, um, well, you kind of your ability to twist is easier, you could bring your right elbow outside your knee and then twist from there. Nah. Coming back through the centre, right hand behind your back, left hand comes out. Push down into your left toes, lift your hips up, Wild thing again, stack your feet or don't stack them, just place them next to each other, side plank pose. Can you bring your left hip towards the uh, left side of the room so they're nicely stacked and then you're going to try to step that left foot somehow wrestling with a massive dog to the front of the mat, standing splits, creep your way forward, pull the right knee in towards your chest. Bend your left knee, push and stand. Place the right foot down. Give yourself a little shake out. And you. How far are we? I have no idea. Um, uh, 15 minutes. 
Inhale, sweep your arms up. And then exhale, we're going to fold all the way forward. Inhale, come to flat back. Exhale, fold forward. Take that right foot back behind you. Drop that right knee. Come into side straddle. And then you're going to extend that right arm up to the sky. Bring that hand down. Bring that left arm up. Bring that hand down. Walk your hands to the front. Point that left toe towards the front of your mat. You're going to take that left leg back up behind you into a three-legged dog. And then you're going to keep it up and come down with that knees, chest, chin, keeping that left leg up all the time. So bring your elbows down, bring that chest down, sweep up into upward dog, drop that foot. Flip your toes, come into downward dog as you exhale. Pad it out. One heel down, then the other. Bring your toes together so that they meet in the middle. Bend in your knees slightly and then drop your hips over to the left. So you can feel that stretch on that right side. Dougie. And then up and over to the right. Lengthen in that left side. Coming back to the centre. So you're, you can either walk your feet to your hands or you can do a little hop. Inhale, sweeping all the way up. Reaching nice and tall. Exhale, fold forward. Doug. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold forward. Take that left leg back behind you. Drop that heel. Turn the right toe so that you're facing the side of the mat. And then back to that side shadow. Walk your hands over to that right foot. Both hands. Lifting that bum up. Keep those knees nice and soft. And then walking them over to the left. And then walking the hands to the front of the mat, pointing that right toe. Both feet facing forward. You're going to take that right leg back up behind you into a three-legged dog. Keeping it up, lowering your chest and your chin down. Sweep up into upward dog. Drop that foot. Flip your toes into downward dog. From our downward facing dog, we're going to crouch those knees down towards the floor, very similar to what Jen just did. We're going to lift the hips up, roll ourselves through to high plank. We're going to be finding that little float through in a minute. Just lower your hips down towards the floor, so we're in upward facing dog. And then we're going to try to bend our elbows and lower to low plank. Drop down towards your belly. Walk the hands forward, so they're just in front of your shoulders. Lift your chest up, not super high, elbows are still really low. Pull on the hands, hips push to the floor, feel the abdomen lengthen. Lower hands back down. Push yourself up into high plank. Back to downward facing dog. Lift that right leg up towards the sky. Pull on your right knee in. Tap your right armpit as best as you can. Take it back to the sky. Tap your left elbow. Take it back to the sky. Tap your right wrist. Take it back. Three-legged dog, that sweep through that gem just did, lowering the chest down towards the floor. Roll yourself through, upward facing dog. Drop that right foot, roll back to downward facing dog. Crouch your bum down, knees drop to nearly touch the floor, lift the hips up, roll through to high plank again, roll through the whole of the spine, lower pelvis down, upward facing dog. Again from here, <laughs> we're going to lower chest down to the floor, dropping down, hands creep forward, cobra pose. So again, pull on those hands. Try to keep elbows nice and soft, just off the floor. 
Exhale, rolling back down. Hands come under, upward face, uh, going to down dog by child's pose or your push up, your chaturanga. Roll back, left leg lifts towards the sky. Doing that upward facing dog thing again. So roll yourself through, sweeping up. Oh, slightly different this time, we're gonna drop down to our bellies. From here, we're gonna find our, what's it called? Locust pose. So fingertips are gonna come really light on the floor. Squeeze bum cheeks, and then just try to lift up high with the chest. Try to push through the back of the head, the back of the neck, holding here for three, maybe you just got a thumb and a forefinger down for two, for one, relax. Make pillows with the hands, forehead rests, Lift your feet up, try to lift the whole of the thigh off the floor. Just holding here for three, two, one. Come back down, bring those hands off. We're gonna lift hands and feet, lifting, hovering, holding, five, four, three, two, one. Hands down to the floor, tuck your toes, roll back child's pose or push up through your push up. Back to downward facing dog. You go. Oh, you didn't you do the plate with the knee on the Oh, I didn't know. Did well remember. Sorry, Lift guys. Lift the left arm towards the scorpion. Yeah. That's only one side. We need to do the whole the other side. <laughs> left leg lifts up. We're going to pull that left knee through. Tap the armpit. Take it back. Tap the elbow. Take it back. Tap the wrist. Take it back and then roll yourself back through into that upward facing dog. Lower arms if you want the challenge, come to low plank and drop to the belly. We're gonna find that cobra, that sphinx pose. No, what's it called? Um, locus. Locus, thank you, Shalambasa, one last time. The whole of the body lifting up, hands back behind you, lift those thighs. Look down at the floor, lift your chin high, squeeze your bum cheeks on. Holding here for 10, nine, eight. Try to spin your thumbs backwards, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Relax. Here. So go up, uh, heels, hips over heels. Come into your child's pose. And then walk your hands over to the right hand side of your mat. Bring that left hand on top of that right hand. That's Daisy. That's Daisy. A big smile. And then slowly walk your hands over to the left hand side of the mat. Bring that right hand on top of that left. And then slowly walking them back to centre, bringing yourself up, coming onto your bottom. You're going to extend that left leg and then nestle the sole of that right foot into that left thigh. You're going to come for a side stretch. So you're going to bring your left hand to anywhere either on your shin or you can use your peace fingers to grab your big toe. You're going to bring that right arm up and over to the side to try and meet that left hand. So your option here is to stay here, or you can bring that left hand to that right knee, opening up that chest. That really get you in that QL on that right side. You don't have to be touching your foot with that right hand. And then slowly releasing that bottom hand first, and then slowly bringing yourself up. Swapping your legs over, so you're nestling that left foot into your thigh, finding your hand placement, whether that be boys, um, either your right hand on your shin, or you can grab hold of that big toe, L left arm up and over to the side. So again, your hands don't have to meet here, we're just trying to open up our chest, so try and stack your shoulders. And then your option here, is to bring that right hand towards that left knee and open up that chest. So you're twisting that heart round. 
and even if you've got annoying kids who are just constantly uh, <laughs> winding you up, climbing over you, so you can still practice. And then slowly lower, release that lower hand, and then bring yourself up to seated. Putting both feet back on the floor, and then you're going to bring your uh, fingertips facing your bottom, and you're coming into your reverse box. So you're lifting your hips up to the sky, and then allowing that neck to relax wherever you want it to, whether that be dropping it back, just be careful, and really push those hips up to the sky. You can do that in your shoulders. You guys really help with that. And then slowly bringing that bottom down, hugging that right foot, extending that left leg straight, lifting that heart, and hugging that knee into your chest. Coming for that gentle twist like we did earlier with Wig, so bringing that right hand behind you, just turning that chest around, hugging that knee. You can tell it's um, time. For walk time. And then slowly coming back to centre. So you can stay um, hugging that right knee in. You can hook the big toe and then extend that leg straight. And then draw that knee in beside your ribs. So a bit like half happy baby if you were laying down. And then stretching it out. And then back. And then you can rock the baby. So you're holding on to your shin and your knee. And then you're just opening out those hips. Dogs, you're really not helping. So you can just stay here rocking the baby, but we can come into an arm balance if you want. That's the cross Huh? Do it angle. Yeah. So you're bringing that um, right leg over your tricep, even if you just stay there and just try and lift your bottom up. Uh, and then lift your leg straight and your bottom up. Just practice that. Or you can come into what they call the eight angle pose. So for this, you can do it. So for this, you're then going to take your left foot and hook it over your right. You're still holding your right tricep with your right arm, uh, your right leg even. If the dogs move, you'll be able to see me. So from here, again, squeeze those feet together, push your right hamstring into your right uh, tricep, and then just lift and squeeze and lean your weight forward. The key to this is getting the weight forward. It's going to lift your bum up. Out. You hold there for three. Out. out. For two. And knee Douglas. And for one. And then we come back down. And then you're going to swap sides. So you're going to hug that left knee into your chest. Nice big squeeze. Lifting that heart, coming round that gentle twist. So you're hugging that knee, bringing that left hand behind you. Gently turning round and then coming back to centre. So you're going to straighten that left leg so you can use your peace fingers to have, grab hold of your big toe. And it doesn't have to be a straight leg, you can keep it as bent as you need to. We can straighten it out, draw that knee either side of your rib cage, straightening and then drawing it in. And then you come to rock the baby. So you're basically just Thanks. holding your lower limb and opening that hip out, drawing it in towards your body. Again, option is to stay there or coming into eight angle on the other side. You might find that one side is stronger than the other. I definitely do. So you're putting that trice um, <laughs> that arm over your tricep. And again, you nice. can just put. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, you know what I'm doing. You can um, either just practice here lifting your bottom up, lifting that leg straight and just staying there. Or, like Wib says, hooking that um, foot. I don't think I can do it on this side. <laughs> hooking that foot. It's definitely my weaker side too. And coming into that, tipping that weight forward. Uh, no. Nearly. So you just tip that way. There we go. There you go. Squeezing, <laughs> lifting. Have fun with that. Two, one. Coming in. back down. Come back. I would come back onto your back 
and hug your knees into your chest. Now we're just about finished up, we'll do the last two minutes of getting your belly working, fire up your core for the final few moments. No thanks. So from here, I want to lay down. We're going to lie down in a second. Thumbs rest under bum, legs are vertical towards the sky. Let's face it, we're going to make the most of this quarantine and get ourselves a rocking six pack, so let's go with it. So from here, Ready for our beach body. Exactly, you're going to lower your legs down towards the floor. Mm, no, and then no, lift no. Them back up. Oh, no, if you feel comfortable with this and your back isn't an issue, you can go <laughs> to Navasana, Ardha Navasana. And so you're just going to lift and lower. I can't do it, the dog's abstracting me. <laughs> lift and lower. I've got no room, I can't just do lifting it. Lifting and lowering. What a shame. Just for another 30, 29, 28, 27. 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, we're nearly there, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, one. Hold at the top. Take hold of your big toes. This one's just for fun, but gets things working. Roll on towards your back, and then roll back up onto your sit bones and catch yourself there. Lift your chest. Try to open your legs nice and straight. Bend them again. Roll on towards your back. That hurts my back. Roll back up towards your seated position, final time rolling back, lifting yourself back up and then let those feet come down to the floor, find your bridge pose as your final pose of the practice, roll your hips up to the sky, just lengthen the front of the body out. And then roll yourself back down. Final little bridge pose. Just do one more. Lifting the hips up. And then coming back down. Give the knees a final little squeeze before they lengthen, before they relax. Palms facing up beside you because it really helps. I don't think that's very relaxing. And then just sink into the mat and spend as long as you need to here. And try to take at least five or six breaths, slow, steady breaths, just to really relax down. And whenever you find you've got time or whenever you're ready, just lift yourself up. Find whatever comfortable seated position. You can take the Balakanasana like Jane, just sit cross-legged. And then just find the hand to heart centre. And fold down over the legs. Makas Samastas Sukhme Bhavantu. May all beings be happy and free. Om um, Shanti Shanti Shanti. Namaste. Thank you all for joining us. Namaste. I'd just Thanks like to guys. say Wibbs's um, onesie by uh, Burnt Soul. Burnt and Soul then uh, Scrunchy by uh, Jade Gentire, which is. Amazing. Thanks, guys. Cheers, guys.